Good morning guys, this is John again, back with uh, this next instalment of this uh, floating reef uh, rock build. Uh, the rock that I got from uh, the reefandrock.com over there. Um, so, right, this is the uh, where I've got to. You can see this is fairly straight across here. I've got both of the magnets glued in now. Um, I'll just put a ruler across there to kind of sort of show you. Isn't, there, there it goes, let's see, there's the magnets working. Um, so you can see it's fair, they're fairly flat. It's not an exact science because obviously you, you're dealing with the natural uh, material. I'm going to leave it on there because it's not going to come off. It's so strong, these magnets. Um, what I actually used, rightly or wrongly, was the white topped Gorilla Glue. Um, this is an expanding, uh, it's really strange stuff. It's, it's, I keep it in the fridge uh, to sort of harden it up, you know, to keep it from going off and to keep it stiff. But as soon as you start putting it on and it warms up, it starts going off like a... Um, uh, like an expanding foam more than anything it's, it goes off like a, there we go I've got that off there now. so yeah it, um, it it starts off like a runny honey and then it kind of starts slows down and then it starts to expand a bit like a very slow expanding foam um, until eventually it sort of goes off kind of you know like rock hard it's almost part of the part of the rock really it's very very hard um, and my idea was because I've got a few of these magnets sort of thing I was going to I've put a piece of, there's another tip for you, put another, I put a fishing line uh, on there because I've got, you know, fed up with trying to pull it off, so that gives me a bit more purchase with a bit of line, and this one's actually off a Tunsy Light, which is, um, it's got a handle on it, which is quite convenient, it's like a, almost like a child safe thing, it's like a, you can pull it off. Uh, my other plan was to, um, I bought some mag uh, magnets, uh, so a magnet cleaner, but, but these are, spoke these are on Amazon, these are obviously Chinese, but this is, um, they were supposed to be black and uh, the large side or the medium side, this is a small one, so apparently they're sending me some more, so that's a bit of a non-starter that one. Um, just to see if they were strong enough to sort of save me from sort of, you know, using uh, powerful magnets on the back, because it, I, I don't, well, I'd imagine because they're probably real earth magnets or something, uh, they're very expensive. So um, so what I, I was doing is, uh, it, it's taken quite a long time because I was using this stuff, I was putting a very small amount, I'd super glued them in with a very strong uh, kind of like thick uh, coral glue, like a cyanoacrylate glue, just to tack them in there and that took a while to go off because it's so thick and I used quite a bit of it, that took about a day to go off um, and then what I did is I, I very gently sort of put a little bit around the gap because it, it was quite a small gap when I, by the time I finished, around the outside and then I covered it over with some sellotape um, just uh, you know, like a reel of sellotape straight over the top, um, and pressed it all round to make sure that the, you know wasn't getting glue everywhere. And I inverted the whole thing and laid it flat on a bench on a bit of a protective cover, um, and so the, the glue would sort of sink down onto the and then find its way round the magnet without actually sort of ruining the magnet. But so it takes a long time because if you overdo this stuff, it goes everywhere. I mean, you know, if you if you was to, I've done it before when I built the actual reef. Um, you know, you think you're doing really well, uh, and then you turn the thing over and realise it's all dribbled through the holes and it's everywhere on your bench and it just gets everywhere. So I find the best thing to do is just little and often. So just put a little bit round, you know, cover it over, mask it up, turn, do where you know, pin it where you want, and then go away and leave it for a good few hours, half a day, and then you can come back and do a little bit more and just add and add and add. And after a while, you get the job done. But if you try to put loads on, it just doesn't work. The reason I say rightly or wrongly is because um, there's a bit of you know there's a bit of a um, sort of intelligent speak on you know about whether this is the right thing for reef, whether it's salt safe, whether it's reef safe. I don't know. I mean, I've built my entire reef from this, so I don't know whether it's good. Apparently, there's other Gorilla Glues that are probably more stable in the salt environment, but obviously that's um, that's you know we, we're um, that would have to be someone more intelligent than me would have to sort of you know dig down into the chemistry of that. But I don't know. But I have used it. My next plan is I'm going to go and soak this probably for 24 hours in a bucket of RO water or some treated tap water or something. Just so, if, if just in case there is an element of something that's going to come out of this glue that I don't want in my reef tank, I'll let that you know just sit there for a while um, in the in the bucket of water, and then to, uh, the next time I do it, hopefully by tomorrow, I will be able to um, uh, you know put it in the in the reef tank and then put the magnets behind it, and it should be on display. So, thanks for being patient with me. I know this is it's, it's been a very slow process, but I'd rather go slow and do it properly. 
um, you know, and not have the magnets fall out uh, another day, um, then, you know, sort of, you know, that's the thing. I like to do things sort of methodically. So, anyway, thanks for being patient with me. Another gratuitous uh, plug for uh, Reef and Rock over, over there. And, anyway, have a lovely morning, uh, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And uh, I shall speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye.